Brussels under attack. At least 34 killed in multiple explosions across the city. There were two blasts at Brussels airport in the morning rush hour. We hear an explosion, big explosion inside the airport. And she said, no, I'm too scared, I stay. And no, we can't stay here because if they come downstairs, we're the only one here, they will kill us. <laughs> Another bomb exploded on a busy metro train where shell-shocked passengers fled the wreckage. This image emerges of three suspects as so-called Islamic State says it carried out the attacks. I'm live in Brussels tonight with all the very latest on this fast-moving story. And across the UK, security at major transport hubs is stepped up. The Prime Minister defiant. We need to stand together against these appalling terrorists and make sure they can never win. This is the ITV Evening News with Mark Austin in Brussels. Good evening from Brussels on a dark day for this city. It is the terrorist atrocity Belgium had feared for months. Tonight, at least 34 people are dead and nearly 200 others are injured. The target was the transport system, the city's airport and metro, right in the middle of the morning rush hour. The so-called Islamic State say they carried out the attacks. Within the last hour, the Belgian prosecutor says two bombers died at the airport while a manhunt has been launched for a third. This is what we know tonight. 14 people were killed in the bombings at the airport. 20 died in an explosion at Milebeek Metro Station in the city centre. Brussels went into immediate lockdown with the airport and the city's public transport systems closed. Tonight, our correspondents in the city will have the very latest live. Our first report is from Raggy Omar on how the horror of the Brussels attacks unfolded. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Westminster. And so tonight, Brussels is a city in shock. At least 34 people are dead and around 200 others are injured. The explosions were both merciless and indiscriminate. They tore through the morning rush hour as thousands of people hurried to work, just uh, going about their daily business. <laughs> The city's main international airport and a city centre metro station reduced in an instant to a war zone. The words of Belgium's Prime Minister said it all. A day of tragedy, he called it, a black day. What's left this evening is a city whose citizens can only do their best to come to terms with the horror of what began to unfold here 12 hours ago. And uh, what about this tonight? In another city that understands the horror of terror attacks all too well, a gesture of support. The Eiffel Tower lit up in the colours of the Belgian flag. And that is it for now. Tom Bradby will be here later with uh, News at 10. But from all the team here in Brussels and in London, bye-bye.